hello guys and welcome to this new video on medical channel so today i'm going to show you how you can use chart.js with mysql database we are also going to see how you can generate more than one chart on your screen so let's get started hey guys thank you for watching videos on my channel this might be your first time for being here please think about to hit the subscribe button for helping me doing more such of videos thank you now the first thing we need to do is to create our database so i've actually created my own here but I'm going to show you how you can create your database. I already written a code in PHP. You can use it. Actually, you can see here I created a file. I call it DB and here is the code. So I simply create a database with a table and that table just have two columns. You can create something more complex if you want, but actually we just have this. And here I just insert some value into the table because we want to draw some graph with that. You can just write this code and just run it and you will have the database created. I suppose you have same on your computer, your local server. So actually I'm not going to talk about that, but I think you have it. If you have this done, then we can move ahead and start making more important things. Now about the page itself, as you can see here, it just we just have a simple uh, page with uh, with the graph so we don't have a complex layout you can just see the codes here it's really simple i have a short style here as you can see the body and the container here actually here we have our canvas where we're actually going to draw our charts so this is the simple code of this page and uh, you might think about to add jquery so actually as you can see here and uh, yeah this is actually no longer important because we don't have a file so actually this is the html code but here in the top we have our php code for generating our data that we are actually going to use in the javascript here for drawing our uh, chart so as you can see here i firstly start uh, creating a connection with the database and i have defined here two variables so if you remember we have created the database with two columns data one and data two so actually i define these two variables here and here i just select all data from the table and i just fetch those data into these two variables here as you can see and uh, i'm actually also formatting the data that i'm saving the, here because i want it to be exactly as chart.js is actually going to understand because what we have here inside is actually looking like this that's why you can see here i take the data one and i add the next value into it and i separate all them with the comma and at the end here i just trim those tables so the last value will uh, actually going to have this comma at the end so we don't want that that's why we just trim it with this function here as you can see so and then here we got all that as we are actually going to draw on the graph and here in the bottom we have the javascript code it's not a huge code it's actually simple so here we just get the canvas here so that we just get the context as a 2d space or something like that so and then we just create a chart so the chart should be line so as you can see our chart here are lines you can also say square or whatever and uh, those things you can check the the page of chart.js uh, there you can have more information about which kind of graph you can draw so in this video we're going to focus on line charts so and here as you can see i just defined the data for our graph actually which data we're going to draw labels are simply those data here on this axis here so I decided to write it like that because I wanted to show you how the data inside of these variables are actually looking out. So I have written this like this. We have data sets. Now the first data sets because we have, as you can see here, we have two graphs. The first data set is data one. That's how I call it. So as you can see here, because my data here is actually a PHP variable and I want to access that variable in a JavaScript code, I need to add this php tags so and all i do here i just echo this and it will simply look like this inside of this bracket so and we will simply have our code written clearly without any problem so i set some couple of settings background transparent the color of the chart itself how it should be with uh, whatever and here you can see we just separate all data set with a comma you can declare even 10 if you want it's not 
important actually so but here i just designed two of them and you can see we have that a one and that a two thing that is really important is here the the options so i have some couple of settings here for example you can define if the axis is actually going to start by zero or maybe just start by the first value you have given to him we have the auto skip when the when the values just get out of the range then you can just have the, the values stretch inside of the screen and we have the maximum limit ticket actually uh when you have this here you can have more than 20 values on this axis here even if your data are actually more than 20 it would limit it to 20 because sometimes you need uh, your your chart to be responsive with your website and if someone come with a table with many values then this could be dangerous and we have many other settings actually the legend as you can see i've set the color the position the font size here so guys this is actually it so if you like this video just think about to subscribe and leave a comment in the section below so guys thank you and see you next time